Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video is not something I was expecting to be filming right now, but we have just had our project marks back from our dissertations. This is the research project that I did from about sort of October to January in third year this year. It's worth 60 credits, so it's worth like a third of our overall BMed side grade, which will determine the degree class we get for our BMed side degree and I was just sitting doing my work, not a care in the world, you know, as you do and then Dingling got an email and for the last few days actually we've kind of been expecting that dissertation results might be soon so every time I'm getting an email I'm like jumping to check in like oh is it going to be the results and it hasn't been um and just now it was and I wasn't even sure it was going to be the results because it just said project mark release or something and I thought oh it's going to be another email of them delaying the result because they had to delay the release of our results due to coronavirus we were meant to get our results last month and then they've kind of been sending us updates of when they're they think they might be coming out so I thought it would be another update I clicked on it and there was my percentage literally staring me in the face and I I was going to film a reaction video but I've already seen it so there wasn't really much I could do about that but I still thought I'd film a video to just tell you what I got and just talk a bit about how I'm feeling and yeah. So in my research project, I can't believe I'm even saying this, I got 79% which is a first and it's not just a first, it's quite a bit into a first so as you probably know in the UK a first is 70% so 79 I can't I actually can't believe it like I'm not just saying this and um, I often get my exam results and I feel so overwhelmed I'm like oh my god I can't believe my work paid off I can't believe I got first or an A star or whatever it's, it has been but this time I, I honestly honestly did not think I would get first I predicted that I would get either 65 or 68 and if I thought if some miracle occurred and I did get a first I thought it would be just like bang on 70 or 71 or 72 I had never expected this like I nearly got 80 <sighs> so just to add to what I said earlier um, after getting our just overall project mark we then got a breakdown of what we got in the dissertation like the actual writing up of the project and what we got in our viva and I'm again very shocked but for my dissertation I actually got 80% and then for my viva I got 75 I'm just surprised that my actual dissertation was that high still 80 is crazy so now I feel like I should explain a little bit about what my project actually was on so um, without boring you with loads of sort of scientific details um, mine was in the home base clinical neuroscience so it was about the brain specifically it was about dementia so I was looking at a new cognitive screening tool so a cognitive screening tool is basically an assessment that you do on a patient to test their sort of cognition ability and it will inform you as to whether it's likely that the patient has some kind of cognitive impairment um, and whether this might be due to a dementia of some sort and so the screening tool that I was looking at um, has been used in stroke patients in the past and has been good at identifying impairments in stroke patients like post-stroke so my project was looking at whether this new screening tool could be used in patients with suspected dementia to help distinguish between the different types of dementia and to sort of give an estimate of what dementia they might have. Um, I know a lot of people might not know much about dementia but Although Alzheimer's disease is the one that's talked about most sort of in the media, there's also vascular dementia, frontotemporal dementia and mixed dementias and within all of these there's kind of subgroups as well. So yeah, my project was looking at that and it, it turned out that actually the results were quite good. So the way our dissertations work when we write them is that we, the first sort of page of the dissertation is an abstract. So an abstract in a scientific article is a, a sort of summary of the whole research paper so it includes sort of the key points from each section of the project with a sort of clearly stated conclusion so it allows for someone to really quickly read through and see um, what the research paper is about 
the methods that were used to get the results, what the results were and what the results mean in a scientific context. So that's the first bit. And then you have the introduction, which is where you look at all of the existing literature around the topic. So you kind of see what's already out there and you see where your project will fit in with what's out there. So what sort of basically gap in the market is your research going to fill and what are the potential benefits of this? You then have the methods section where you explain what you actually did during your research project. So for me, this was um, assessing some patients myself, but also collating data from different databases that were already existing, putting them all together and then doing a lot of statistical analysis on the results. Now, the statistical analysis was like the hardest part for me because although I have a fair understanding of stats, like I did stats A-level, we did a module in third year to sort of help us learn a bit more about stats, but still it was very hard to do this um, and it took a lot of time, a lot of researching, a lot of like trial and error, seeing what worked and what didn't. And eventually then I got my results. So then the results section is um, a presentation of all of your results, what you found, um, without really explaining sort of what they mean. And then the discussion section, which is the last section, is discussing what your results actually mean in the context of like what you talked about in your introduction. So how do your results fit in with other people's results? Um, are they the same? Are they different? What could be the reasons for these differences? Um, and then you have to also include a bit about limitations. So like what wasn't good about your research project? What stopped you being able to get the best results you could? where in what areas might your research not be sort of generalizable to the whole population things like that so all of those components together make up the research project itself that we did and then that was worth 80 percent of the project mark the other 20 percent came from aviva so i've mentioned this before in my videos but aviva is an academic sort of interview almost so i had a consultant neurologist and then we had a moderator who sat and just checked that all the vivas were sort of fair and that they were a similar level level of sort of difficulty. The examiner then basically asked me questions about my project, like told me to summarise certain points of it, um, asked me what could be done to make the project better if it was done again in the future, how I sort of use particular methods and what my results meant and things like that. I think it went pretty well. The examiner did actually criticise parts of my dissertation, which I obviously expected because I'm a third year university student. I'm not like a PhD student. I'm not a research scientist so obviously it wasn't going to be like the most amazing research ever but then the examiner also gave me quite a lot of like positive feedback so for example he said my methods section was really good and he said the stats that I produced were like of a really high quality so that was really nice for me to hear because obviously that was the part of the project I'd struggled with a lot so in terms of the Viva I was pretty confident it would have gone well so I was thinking maybe like I would have got first in the Viva just about um, and then the project itself I was just in two minds. Like I, I kept fluctuating between thinking it was really, really good and thinking it was terrible. Like part of me thought it wasn't my like cleanest bit of work. Like I thought it was quite sloppy in places. And there were a few bits where I thought I probably could have like thought about things a bit more, like how to present my results or which particular points I should discuss. So there was a few things I was worrying about that might have like dragged my mark down, but clearly it was enough for me to do well and I'm so so pleased. I don't really know what else to say, I'll probably add to this video later when I'm not in this sort of state of shock so um, if I don't then thanks for watching, I hope this was somehow like enjoyable to watch. Um, I really like these videos like when I watch other people reacting to like doing well in exams, I think it's really nice and uh, I really do, although I've said like there were negative points about the whole experience and like I did find it really hard and some parts of it I don't think were my best work and I was a bit disappointed with. Overall, like, I did put so much work into this project and I'm just so happy with the result. So thank you so much for watching and thank you if you're already subscribed. I hope this is really satisfying for you to watch because you probably watched me sort of struggling with my dissertation writing in some of my vlogs. So yeah, thank you and goodbye.